Bad Trip, book by Ana Isiano de Gangura. Music by Tony McCahill. Directed by Gabe O'Rourke de la Cruz. Music direction by Tony McCahill. Stage managed by Tyler Jorgens. Characters. Jared Tellerman, a 17-year-old boy who feels like his mom is neglecting him, which causes him to turn to drugs for escapism. Olivia Tellerman, now sober for 27 years, she's hidden most of her life from her son in efforts to keep him safe. Liv, like Jared, her negative relationship with her parents has caused her to turn to drugs to cope. Paul, Jared's drug dealer and friend, who spent more time on clouds rather than on Earth. Yo, Jared, Jared, open the door, you cucks up. Paul. Oh. Oh, Miss Tillerman, hi. <laughs> you kids have way too much energy. Come in. Oh, right on, thanks. Come on, man. Next time, just show yourself in. The chips and pantry, go get them. Hell yeah. Paul sure knows his way around the house by now. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. Bad trip. Just, you boys have fun. Yeah. Uh, bye, Mom. Hey, Paul, I'll be upstairs. Paul returns with five bags of chips. He stumbles and drops one. Olivia picks it up for him. Here. Thanks, Miss Turleman. Jared! Jared! Where you at, homie? In where the bathroom. At? Bro, I'm not here to wipe your ass. Sometimes I wonder if you're high by nature or just a bona fide dipshit. I cut a deal with you. I can make fun of you as much as I want. Right. Anyways. There's no space in the bathroom cabinet. So I went under the sink. My mom would not find out if I just taped it there, I think. That's the oldest trick in a book, dumbass. But she barely pays any attention to me. She's completely clueless. There's no doubt of it It's so easy to miss And I'm so damn neglected That there's practically no risk I don't know What kind of loving parent would let a raggedy ass looking hooded figure like you through the door? I? Fair so... Jared pulls a stack of cash out of his pocket And Paul brings out a plastic bag with some blue pills in it they make the exchange. This kind of medicine gets rid of all the pain. It feels like heaven when it's running through your veins. Pop a couple pills and watch the problems pop away. Let a little oxy have its way. Alright, let's smoke in my room for now. Do our project for school for now. Literally, shut up. They have not come down here for a while. Been in that room for the whole day. Olivia slowly makes her way up the stairs. I'll just get high. I'll get really high. Get high enough to not be hurt. Whoa, how many of those did you just take? Uh, I don't know. I, that's just slaps, man. I hope just one. I'll just get high. I'll get really high. <sighs> Jared? <sighs> Jared! <gasps> Since the party's over, I'll get more. Jared passes out, and the space suddenly becomes a dark void. Ah! Jesus! <gasps> Holy shit. What the actual hell? The hell is it that guy gave me? I'm seeing people. This is a normal, weird hallucination. Excuse me? Hallucination? Me. You can't be judging me. You're not even real. What? I'm real. Never had a trick. It's so damn existential. Jeez. 
wait, if you're real and I'm real, ugh, whatever, kid, just get out of my high. Your high? This is supposed to be mine. Who are you? What's it to you who I am? Buzz off! Jeez. Well, okay, fine. Well, if you're gonna be like that, do you at least know where we are? Why it's getting so dark? As if I'd know. Last thing I remember is shooting up and drinking in my neighbor's basement. I think I crushed up some pills, too. Many. To get high. Alone. This defeats the point. Just get out of here! Okay, how? There are no walls, no room, no patty. And as the time keeps passing, it gets a little harder to see, gets a little harder to breathe. There are no doors, no actual exit, no tool to try and break it, and you want me to leave. We're literally in an empty void. Shut it! Look, I don't even know you, and I don't know why you're being so difficult with me. Do you have any bright ideas? God, please don't talk, don't ask for answers. Don't make one more advance, cause I want to be through with all of it. Trying to get out of something? As if that wasn't so apparent. Christ, I feel bad for your parents. The poor things have to deal with you. annoying to them? Low blow. Okay. I'll admit, that was unnecessary. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated because I kind of did this to rid myself of people and everything. Seeing you, anyone, just means that I failed. Hey, what's your name? Jared. Jared. I've always liked that name. Um, I'm Liv. Listen. My parents have got me by the chain. They never trust me to go anywhere. Felt like a prisoner every day. fight with them today? You see why I want to be alone? Yeah, whatever. You can make it up to me by helping me find a way out of here. It's getting dark, so look for some kind of light source. Fine. So, what were you getting high on? But you didn't want anything to do with me. I... bad trip, jeez. Mom says that all the time. Says what? Bad trip. Really? Your mom must be dope. <laughs> what? I'd kill for anyone else to be my parent. Don't take your mom for granted. Yeah, well, you're not the only one that has problems. At least your parents want you around. My mom won't bad and I'm my way. She says I'm a good kid, lets me do what I want, whenever I felt neglected every day. So I take these pills to tolerate the fact that she never, ever cared. I'd rather have it your way. I can't really say the same. Either way, we ended up in the same place. Either way, we ended up in the same place. 
What if the folks aren't the problem? What? What if it's not their fault? What if it's yours or mine? What if we blew it all? What if we lost that time? What if the thought that they're responsible is just a flat out lie? What if the bad trip, bad high, bad dream, bad night are bad ideas of you and I? Never say that again! Why would you even say that? I hate that! Probably because it's true. Just keep looking for an exit. Why are we here at all? Why is it losing light? Feels like we hit a wall. Feels like we lost our sight. Feels like this place that's not a place is more like something far from life. What if the bad trip, bad high, bad dream, bad night, this dark void with no way outside is a bad attempt at staying alive. Liz. I don't think we're high. I think we're unconscious. I think we might be dead. We're not dead. But we're close. And it's all on us. Don't say that! No, Liv. Can't you see? We got addicted. We screwed up. Ah! Ah! And we need help. Jared? Jared! Oh. Nurse, I need a nurse in here! Mom? Shh, quiet, baby. No need to talk. Wait, wait. But we do. We need to talk. What? Get your hands off of me! Before he kept showing me your shoulder. But now you hold my hand and feel my forehead while I'm lying in this bed. I spent my life wanting this and only this, but the circumstances filling me with dread. So you only pay attention when I'm almost dead. Jared! Am I wrong? Hey, tell me, Mom. Tell me you ever cared. How could you say that? Of course I care. Have you ever considered my position? My parents were tooth and nail, stepping me down, holding the reins too tight. And I have made so many mistakes in my life, I didn't want you to turn out like I did. So I wanted to give you the space, the freedom to do what you please. All you've ever done is ignore me. I just didn't want to get in your way. Maybe I should have, because Oxy? Who well, made you turn to Oxy? That shit is dangerous, Jared. I know people that have died because they overdosed on Oxy. Or because it was poisoned with fentanyl. I mean, you took how many? One pill. It takes one pill to get really damn high. Wait, wait. Why do you know all of this? Oh. So there is something. Watch your tone. Really? Tone, now. All right, Jesus, bad trip. Oh, uh, don't say that. Bad trip, bad trip, bad trip. I've heard enough. You're not telling me something, Mom. I don't have to tell you anything. I just know what you've been through. You, you've had it. Used to be weed every week, then diamond hydronate every other day. Crush some Oxycontin nightly, and I didn't drink too lightly either. Oh God. That was me at my weakest. For a year or two, I just lived that way. Then I took it all at once, let it bite me. Took two weeks to
just thought that if you didn't know, you wouldn't turn out like me. Well... <laughs> I just ruined everything. God, I'm such a disappointment. No, don't! Jared, you're not a disappointment. It's gonna be okay, baby. gonna help me, right? Yeah, of course, baby. I love you no matter what, that's not gonna change. But I don't love the choices you've made. I'll be right here as someone to talk to, not to be mean or to judge you, just to say I love you. Here are the boundaries. Boundaries? be starting group therapy. I know a place. What? No, that's so cheesy. Listen, Jared, you don't have a choice, okay? I... Yes, okay. I need help. It's a bad trip. We won't get high. A few bad dreams and a few rough nights. We'll come home, start this endless fight, but you're gonna make it out alive. I, I recognize that. It's just a bad, bad trip. trip, won't get, get high. A few bad, bad dreams and a few rough, rough nights. nights. We'll come home, start this endless fight, but I'm gonna make it out. Live. Huh? Don't call me that. No one's called me that in years. Uh, Mom? What, sweetie? N nothing. Bad trip. End of play.